Welcome back to Little Bits of Lisp. This time we're going to look at some of the details about strings. Uh, very specifically, two things. One that they're mutable, and one that they're simply arrays. So, let's jump over here. Um, here we have some string. Let's evaluate that, and we can see we got the string hi Rob. Um, it's an array. So if we do type of uh, some string, we're seeing here that our implementation is telling us that this is a simple array. Um, simple um, in common list means that it hasn't used, it doesn't use some of the more advanced features of arrays like um, it isn't adjustable and it doesn't use a fill pointer. These are things we'll do in other videos. Um, but it's a simple array of characters. This is the type of the element and in this case we've got six of them in there. Um, this means that we can address the things inside it um, with our normal functions for accessing arrays. So aref um, some string uh, zero is going to have the character h. If we get the fourth character, it's o. So let's get three, and that's Rob. And then to our other point that this is mutable, um, so we can change this to a capital B. And then if we look at some string, it now says hi Bob. Now of course there are some advantages and disadvantages to this. If you're used to a language where strings are immutable, this could be a real gotcha. Uh, you're passing these things around. You don't expect people to be um, yeah, messing about with them. But on the bright side, it means that the language doesn't have to have um, concepts like string builders um, in order to be able to do efficient allocation. So if you're going to, um, if you've got a bunch of strings you're trying to turn into one string, uh, you could allocate a single array of characters of the size, the total size, and then just write the charts in. Um, and just to drive a point home, um, if we make an array um, of 10, of size 10, with the element type uh, character, in fact, that's it. We have a string. Now, of course, we didn't say what the um, contents of this were going to be, so we got something undefined. Uh, so what I'll do here instead is say the initial element is going to be uh, the character A. I typed that wrong. And now so we've got 10 A's. Or we can do space. And now we've got 10 spaces. Uh, so yeah, strings are absolutely just arrays. And just like arrays, they can be mutated. Something to keep in mind. Thanks for watching. See you next time.